Today I'm talking to Nadine Edwards from Greenwich University. Um, could you tell us what your role is at the university? Uh, yes, I'm the repository manager for our repository, which is called Gala for Greenwich Academic Literature Archive. And when did the repository start? The project began in 2008. Um, I started here at the university around the same time and it's a project that's jointly sponsored, uh, sponsored by the Research and Enterprise uh, Department in the University, but it was implemented as a joint project between the Library and Research and Enterprise. And how does that fit in with the, with the university's strategy? Was there a change in personnel at the management level that led to that? Yes, there were. Prior to my arrival, we had a new Pro VC for Research, and he had come from an institution where they had been had a repository, and it was something that, even prior to his arrival, had been discussed as something that the university needed, um, particularly after the last REA. REA. And when I started in 2008, um, my job had been slightly changed from the so that the responsibilities were a little different, and it was something that I knew that I was going to have to be involved in. And how was information about research outputs recorded in the university before the repository? There before were, it was centrally recorded prior to 2007, but, um, but not electronically, so that it's basically th through the form of reports and they were held centrally. So we needed a repository that would be something electronically that people could submit their outputs to and, and something that could promote and make visible the research enterprise of the university. And so the, the repository contains both full text uh, and video and audio, uh, but also metadata records for the publications? That's right. Because we don't have a publications database in any other form anywhere else, the, the repository isn't just about full text, so mm. it is capturing the metadata and just having bibliographic records as well as full text records. But the idea is that it will capture all of mm. the research outputs of the university. And how do these records in full text actually get into the repository? Who, who does the depositing? There are different people that do the depositing. Uh, from the library side, it's basically a mediated service. Um, and different schools have slightly different ways of doing it. So some schools, the academics, the researchers are responsible for doing their own deposits and they self-deposit and then we will mediate those records. Um, in addition to that, there are school administrators who um, there are sort of named people in each for each school who they have also been sort of trained, if you like, mm -hmm. by us in what is required and they also deposit on behalf of the academics and also assist them at a local level so if we're not available they know they have a local person within their school that they can talk to so those staff also deposit as well but there are a couple of schools where the they had their own system if you like for recording their research outputs mm -hmm. across the school and in those instances the the academics submitted all the outputs to one person, normally administ an administrator, and so that has just continued yeah. and, and basically that person will do all the deposits and again we will mediate those records. And what, when you say you mediate them, you look at their copyright yes, status, we, we the do. embargo periods? We do, like we do all of that, so all of the copyright checking, the embargo uh, periods, and obviously going back to the, the researchers with any queries or anything mm -hmm. that isn't clear. So, um, yes, we do it, all, all, everything. And how is that shared out? Do, do different people in the library do that, or is it all a, a core well, repository team? We have a core repository team, but it's very small. Mm -hmm. So I'm the repository manager, but the re repository responsibilities are just a part of my job. Um, and Research and Enterprise have paid for a repository administrator right. and my colleague Sarah deals with all the day-to-day -day running of the repository so she deals with the daily deposits and the daily checking and I do keep my hand in as it were but I do have other responsibilities yeah. as well. So it sounds like the Research and Enterprise obviously takes this very seriously um, presumably because they want to raise the profile of research at That's at the right. University. So I, th I think that they've they've sort of backed up the recognition that this mm. is 
an essential service that was needed and the fact that they are that they pay for the repository administrator mm. post which is based within the library but they pay for the whole thing um, and they also paid for um, the development of the repository we use ePrint software mm. um, and we have a contract we pay for support from ePrints so it was sort of recognized that we, not only did we need to set the repository up, but there needed to be ongoing support. Mm. And elsewhere within the university, we wouldn't necessarily have the IT um, support available yeah. to, to do everything ourselves. So I think that that does demonstrate how seriously they, they sort of take, take it. And of course, that's very helpful when trying to get researchers to do the deposit. But you, you need more than simply setting something up and making the workflow simple and That's um, right. having management backing. What, what other, thing, other strategies have you used to try and increase the amount of outputs? I think we, we have a, de a deposit guide which we've sort of adapted and, and we sort of adapt it for some of the different schools with the different approaches they have. We, we do a lot of one-to-one -one work so there's a lot of um, going and seeing people one-to-one, -one. we talk to them on the phone, email, but a lot of it in person. Uh, and we've also run workshops and we um, attend departmental meetings. We also report on a regular basis back to the Research and Enterprise Committee. And and we know that at that level, it, the message is also being kind of reinforced, um, and particularly with the REF pilot mm. at the moment. The message is it's kind of very, they're getting that message from different directions that they need to get their material into gala, you know, it's in particularly for the REF. And have you got any um, material information coming from the repository onto researchers' personal profiles online? We do. Quite a few of the schools um, reuse the data, so the, the information from gala is fed into their staff profile pages, and we would like to extend that to other mm -hmm. schools in the future. But at the moment, um, our website is undergoing a redesign. Right. So I think when that has completed, it's something we want to revisit and get get that sort of established across all schools. But you think that not having to keep putting the same information into different systems is probably quite a motivating factor for yes, researchers? Yes, I, I think so. I think w whatever the, the system in the school, mm -hmm. if they're, for the schools that already had a system and it was filtered through one person who kept all the information, that hasn't changed for them, so they don't really have to worry about depositing themselves into Gala. They deposit, they pass that to that person. But for the other schools, um, where now Gala is the main way that these things are recorded, um, once they've put the information into Gala, that's all that they need to do. They're not going to be, uh, they're not asked to sort of repeat that um, mm. anywhere else. And on the usage side, how, how are you going to, you know, how are you handling search and discovery of what's in the repository? Is there an integration between the library catalogue and the... At the moment, uh, we are <coughs> reviewing our library management system and one of the requirements for any new system is that it has a discovery tool. Um, so we will be looking to embed the repository into the, any sort of discovery tool we have or any new library management system that we have. Um, have you got any other plans in the future to get the repository more uh, used in both the research strategy side and open access, promoting it in any other Yes, way? I think um, in the long term the, the outputs of the repository will be sort of fed into the other, other management systems. Um, obviously we record the whole of the research sort of process that whole cycle um, and at the moment the gala is only representing the sort of output side and there are plans in, in the long run to integrate that with the other information that's sort of linked in with HR so that we've got the information from the proposal mm. all the way through to the, the output but that um, will take a bit of time. Well that's great, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you.